Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again in this YouTube astrological segment. I'm going to be talking about transit Jupiter making a square opposition or in conjunct aspect to one's natal ascendant. Now when we're talking about transits that involve Jupiter, it can be about expanding horizons, going outside the box, so to speak, enthusiasm, exuberance, optimism, hope, uh, jocularity, um, truth, veracity. And when you have this transit of Jupiter basically making an adverse aspect to the natal ascendant, and I'll elaborate on that. When I'm talking about basically adverse aspect, um, what it is is, of course, the square and opposition aspects in astrology are adverse and negative. The in conjunct, though it's neutral, can um, require uh, adjustments, uh, transition, and those things um, can be... Uh, you know, can have a little tension and um, can cause some exasperation. So collectively, you know, basically speaking, this I see this as an adverse aspect in transit. Now, again, when you have transit Jupiter basically making an adverse aspect of one's natal ascendant, it could be about the expanding of her horizons, going outside the box, exuberance, enthusiasm, optimism, hope, joy, jocularity, truth, and veracity. Um, these things may um, you know, conflict um, with your new beginnings, and well, how can that be? Well, as an example, I mean, you can be, you know, trying to, um, you, you may not have the exuberance and enthusiasm to make starts, new starts, new beginnings at this time. Maybe you're not overly jocular and happy uh, regarding them, say, the ascendant is in Aries, it could be something like for example, maybe with welding or, or carpentry or doing arts and investigation, um, taking up a combat sport. Um, the thing is, it's interesting because Jupiter is about expanding horizons and the ascendant is associated with new beginnings. You may not really feel maybe like doing, maybe you don't feel like doing either at this time or where you feel drawn to expand your horizons. Maybe there's a conflict in what the new beginnings are supposed are, are supposed to be perhaps and um, another thing too is that the ascendant is also connected uh, with our outer demeanor and the thing about this is you might not be overly happy with it right now you might might not be you know, overly jocular or positive about you know what you're expressing uh, outwardly which of course is the ascendant and it might be um, you know it might even be matters with your appearance that you're not overly, you know, exuberant about at this time. Say if the ascendant is in Pisces, it could be a rather, you know, as far as you know, dressing might be somewhat disheveled, or you might be, you know, Pisces ascendant tends toward heaviness, and often the body is not well formed. It could be something along those lines, as an example. Um, the ascendant is also connected. I mean, it's, of course, I mean it's the physical. It dominates the physical body. So at this time, I would say it's also, you know, it's important to avoid extravagance and recklessness through with food-related items that might uh, affect your physical body to its detriment at this time. You know, gaining um, excess weight is an example. And the thing, too, is um, the thing, uh, I would say, you know, Jupiterian people, I would call it, might be conf conflict or conflict or don't agree with your outlook on life, you know, again, going back to, uh, say, the sentence in Pisces as an, as an example, it might be an outlook that might be overly idealistic to the point of being unrealistic, you know, dreamy, you know, fantasizing about things that might seem uh, unattainable. Uh, the ascendant is also associated with uh, our vitality and our energy. So it might be, you know, a time maybe you don't have the energy to do you know, things that are associated with Jupiter. It could be foreign travel, publishing, advertising, expanding horizons as some examples. It could be that maybe doing, uh, there might be something Jupiter related, maybe that's zapping your, your energy and vitality. It could be doing something you know, like with sports as an example. Um, it may be a, something too um, 
when you look at this I mean transit keep in mind uh, the ascendant is also connected with the early childhood it could be I would say perhaps people well, I would say really people that are not just perhaps the people that were prominent during your early childhood and it might be a time where you may be lacking uh, the exuberance or enthusiasm to um, do any activities with these people at this time uh, you may want uh, I mean when you have this kind of aspect I would say it could also uh, manifest in over optimism so guard against being overly optimistic over perhaps new beginnings uh, at this time or matters even with you know, the people that were prominent in your early childhood the ascendant can also uh, be connected with the grandparent as well and it could be a time where you know, maybe there's philosophical differences with this person at this time maybe it's just some kind of belief or an opinion that maybe you know you might have a strong disparity with this person uh, the ascendant is also associated with our defense mechanisms so it might be a time where you might be you know people that Jupiter related whether it's somebody you know in religion or publishing or higher education they might cause some defense uh, mechanism that might be very negative um, you know does that say if the ascendant is in the zodiac sign cancer it can be you know an overly you know emotional type of response as an example um, you know Scorpio can be biting sarcasm as another um, or being or just simply being vengeful you know expressing some kind of vengeful behavior perhaps uh, also too this could be uh, I mean the ascendant is also connected with the qualities that are naturally expressed so this could be a time as well where uh, you know maybe you're not happy yourself or feeling overly jovial regarding your qualities that you're naturally uh, expressed maybe you're not overly enthusiastic about expressing them uh, at this point in time and uh, now another way this transit may manifest it may be difficult or more of an arduous task to be enthusiastic over new starts and new beginnings at this time now say for example if the uh, natal ascendant is in Pisces it might be something with the metaphysical poetry dancing chemistry photography again the metaphysical can include astrology doing something with illusions such as uh, magic tricks oceanography um, working on uh, doing something with fishing as some examples of uh, and again going back to the fact that Jupiter can correlate with over optimism say if um, say uh, this could also this transit may be expressed in being overly optimistic um, you know to do certain things um, with the physical body um, say for example if the uh, ascendant is in Capricorn it could be something with mountain climbing or uh, construction or something that's business related and just be careful that you don't you know overexert yourself during the time of this transit again this transit may manifest an over optimism of what you can actually do physically and can have uh, a wear and tear on your uh, vitality can deplete the energy uh, at this time uh, another thing too is that this could also uh, this transit uh, can also manifest in having again philosophical differences it could be with the grandparent maybe somebody that was prominent in your early childhood um, let's say if the transit Jupiter is in Sagittarius as an example it could be something over uh, religion um, maybe sports maybe there's some argument over that um, matters with immigration foreigners uh, another thing too is that this could also this transit may be expressing in it being uh, harder to see the truth in the self Jupiter is about veracity it's about the truth the ascendant can be connected with the self at least the self that we project outwardly now if the ascendant is in the same sign as our Sun sign then they're one what you're projecting out outwardly of course would correspond with your true self but that's only true in like one in 12 instances anyway anyway though hold on a moment people you 
Now, um, again, this could this transit may manifest and be have it being uh, more difficult to see the truth in yourself. Say if the ascendant uh, is in Taurus, as an example, it could be maybe being overly obstinate or stubborn or having simply a too down to earth outlook on life. Now, it could also be you know, something Jupiter related may take a toll on the uh, energy and vitality. Say if the transit Jupiter is in Gemini, as an example, it could be doing you know something with long distance uh, traveling to uh, manifold countries, to many different countries, may do so at this time, or it could be some kind of sport, and Jupiter could be connected with sports, and it may be Gemini related, which may be like a tennis table tennis or badminton, because those sports have quick, are involve quick reactions, and I would say they can be associated with Gemini. Anyway, people, that will conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, people, Edwin Learner and saying stay well.